Let's learn about fire fighting branches. Introduction Fire branches and nozzles are essential tools in fire fighting, each designed for specific purposes and conditions. They control the flow, speed, direction, and shape of water or other extinguishing agents. Understanding the different types of nozzles and their characteristics is crucial for effective firefighting. Understanding Fire To extinguish a fire effectively, it's essential to understand its basic components, fuel, heat, and oxygen. These elements create a chemical reaction that sustains the fire. Water is commonly used because it absorbs heat, interrupting this reaction. The hydrogen bonds in water require a lot of energy to break, making water effective in absorbing the heat from a fire. Questions Firefighters Consider Different firefighting scenarios require different approaches and equipment. Firefighters need to consider various factors. Distance Will water travel far enough to reach the fire? Penetration Will the stream penetrate burning materials effectively? Ventilation Can heat and smoke be removed using air currents created by moving water? Water pressure How much water pressure is available? Cooling Does the area need to be cooled before firefighters can enter safely? Occupancy Is the building still occupied? Types of nozzle output. Nozzles can vary in three major ways. Pattern the shape of the water as it exits the nozzle. Pressure the force of the water measured in pounds per square inch psi. Gallonage discharge rate how quickly water flows from the nozzle measured in gallons per minute GPM. Water pressure and gallonage. Water pressure controls how far and fast water moves, as well as how deeply it penetrates burning materials. More gallons of water mean more extinguishing agent to cool the fire's fuel. Each nozzle has a rated gallonage at a rated pressure. Example, a nozzle may deliver 60 GPM at 100 psi and 50 GPM at 110 psi. Types of Nozzles According to NFPA 1964, the National Fire Protection Association, NFPA 1964 standard classifies nozzles into four major types based on whether they have variable settings for pattern, pressure, or gallonage. Straight stream nozzles produce a solid stream of water for maximum reach and penetration. Best for direct attack on fires. Fog nozzles can create a wide spray pattern, useful for cooling and protecting firefighters from heat. Combination nozzles offer settings for both straight stream and fog patterns, providing versatility in various firefighting situations. Automatic nozzles adjust automatically to maintain a constant pressure and flow rate, simplifying the operation for firefighters. 10 Types of Fire Branches and Nozzles Generally Used for Firefighting Short Branch Nozzle It's a basic and commonly used nozzle in firefighting. The short branch nozzle is very versatile. It can be fitted with different nozzle heads to suit various needs, making it adaptable for many firefighting situations. Let's talk about the technical specs. The nozzle usually operates at 100 psi, which is effective and manageable. The flow rate can change depending on the nozzle head you use. Different heads can provide a focused stream or a wider spray. The main function of the short branch nozzle is its adaptability. By changing the nozzle head, you can adjust the water flow and spray pattern which is very useful in different firefighting situations. Using the short branch nozzle is simple. First, attach it securely to your hose. Make sure it's tight to avoid leaks. Next, select the nozzle head you need, whether it's a narrow stream for deep fires or a wider spray for covering more area. Fog Nozzle 
This nozzle is designed to break the water stream into small droplets, creating a fine mist. This is incredibly useful in firefighting because it increases the surface area of the water, allowing for higher heat absorption. It's especially effective for fires with high heat output. Now, let's go over the technical specifications. The fog nozzle typically operates between 75 and 100 psi. Its flow rate can range from 30 to 200 gallons per minute, depending on the setting you choose. This range allows for flexibility in different firefighting situations. Using the fog nozzle is straightforward. First, attach it securely to the hose, making sure it's tightly fitted to prevent leaks. Then, adjust the nozzle to the fog setting to create a fine mist. This mist is what makes the fog nozzle so effective at absorbing heat and controlling fires. Hand Control Nozzle This nozzle is commonly used in government and industrial fire services due to its versatility and ease of use. It features an on-off facility and provides both spray and jet options, offering flexibility for different firefighting needs. Let's discuss the technical specifications. The hand control nozzle operates at a pressure of 100 psi. Its flow rate typically ranges from 60 to 120 gallons per minute, providing sufficient water flow for various firefighting scenarios. Using the hand control nozzle is simple. First, attach it securely to the hose, ensuring there are no leaks. Then, Use the hand control lever to switch between spray and jet modes depending on the situation. The triple purpose nozzle operates at a pressure of 75 to 100 psi. Its flow rate typically ranges from 60 to 150 gallons per minute, which provides ample water flow for various firefighting needs. Using the triple purpose nozzle is straightforward. First, Securely attach it to the hose to ensure there are no leaks. Then, rotate the nozzle head to select the desired mode. The jet mode is great for focused, high-pressure streams, the spray mode is ideal for wider coverage, and the shut-off mode allows you to stop the water flow quickly when needed. Diffuser Nozzle It is also known as the Nevi type or combination nozzle. This nozzle is widely used in shipping, marine, and industrial applications due to its versatility in fire suppression. Let's discuss the technical specifications. The diffuser nozzle operates at a pressure of 100 psi. Its flow rate ranges from 60 to 200 gallons per minute, allowing for flexible water flow to handle different firefighting scenarios. Using the diffuser nozzle is simple. First, securely attach it to the hose, ensuring there are no leaks. Then, adjust the nozzle settings to select the desired spray pattern. This adjustment allows you to switch between various patterns, providing the right water distribution for different types of fires. Multipurpose Curtain Nozzle this nozzle is quite versatile as it offers both jet spray and curtain functions. It's particularly favored for its lightweight design, low flow rates, and convenient shut-off facility. Plus, it's great for providing protection from radiant heat. Now, let's dive into the technical specs. The multipurpose curtain Nozzle typically operates within a pressure range of 75 to 100 psi. As for its flow rate, it can vary from 30 to 100 gallons per minute. These features make it adaptable to various firefighting scenarios. Using the multipurpose curtain, nozzle is pretty straightforward. First, attach it securely to the hose, ensuring there are no leaks. Then, Use the settings to switch between the jet spray and curtain spray functions. The jet spray is ideal for focused firefighting, while the curtain spray provides broader coverage, offering protection from radiant heat. Curtain Nozzle 
This nozzle is designed to create a flat semicircular spray, which serves a critical function in firefighting operations. The curtain nozzle's main purpose is to protect firefighters from radiant heat and prevent the spread of fire. It creates a barrier of water that acts as a shield, allowing firefighters to safely approach and contain the fire. The curtain nozzle typically operates at a pressure of 100 psi. Its flow rate ranges from 60 to 150 gallons per minute, providing sufficient water flow to create an effective protective curtain. Using the curtain nozzle is simple. First, attach it securely to the hose, ensuring there are no leaks. Then, position the nozzle to create a protective curtain of water. This can be done by adjusting the angle and distance of the spray to cover the desired area effectively. Revolving Nozzle This nozzle is quite unique as it features multiple nozzles at different angles, creating a three-dimensional spray pattern. The revolving nozzle's primary function is to provide exceptional cooling, making it particularly useful for protecting fixed roof storage tanks. By covering a larger area with its rotating spray, it effectively controls and suppresses fires. Now, on to the technical specifications. The revolving nozzle typically operates at a pressure of 100 psi. Its flow rate ranges from 100 to 300 gallons per minute, providing ample water flow for effective firefighting. Using the revolving nozzle is straightforward. First, attach it securely to the hose, ensuring there are no leaks. Then, position the nozzle for the rotating spray to cover the desired area. The rotating spray pattern ensures thorough coverage, making it ideal for protecting larger areas such as fixed roof storage tanks. Smooth Bore Solid Jet Branches Smooth Bore Solid Jet Branches are crucial selections for firefighting in high-rise environments. These branches are particularly important due to limited water supply and the need to effectively combat high-energy fires at great heights. Smooth bore branches produce a solid, continuous jet of water offering excellent throw and flow characteristics. They generate high levels of jet reaction, allowing firefighters to reach fires at considerable distances. In terms of technical specifications, smooth bore branches typically operate at pressures ranging from 50 to 100 psi. Their flow rates vary from 100 to 250 gallons per minute, providing sufficient water flow for high energy fire suppression. Using smooth bore branches in high rise environments involves attaching them to the hose and aiming for direct fire attack. Their solid jet stream is ideal for penetrating through the flames and delivering water directly to the source of the fire. Multipurpose Combination Branches Let's delve into the multipurpose combination branches, another crucial selection for firefighting in high-rise environments. These branches offer versatility by being capable of producing a range of outlet patterns making them ideal for implementing advanced firefighting techniques such as 3D gas cooling, which require varying spray patterns. The multipurpose combination branches serve as valuable tools in high-rise firefighting scenarios due to their ability to adapt to different firefighting techniques and situations. Their technical specifications typically include operating pressures of 75 to 100 psi and flow rates ranging from 60 to 200 gallons per minute. Using multipurpose combination, branches in high-rise environments involves attaching them to the hose and adjusting the settings for the desired pattern. Conclusion Selecting the right fire branch and nozzle is critical for effective firefighting. This is all about today's topic. Thanks for watching Funny EHS Info. And don't forget to subscribe our channel to get immediate notification of our videos. 
Share our videos to your friends and colleagues to create safety awareness.